Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Imaginary Engineering. Last video we have seen how you can authenticate the user using the JWT token. So in this video we are going to see how we can add the new user, upload the image. I am using the Multar library to upload the image. So let's start. First I will go to this pages folder and create a new file add food recipe dot jsx now here we will create the function for the add food recipe we go to the our app dot js jsx and we add the new path to add recipe and we will render to the element add food recipe that we have created now we have this path so let's add this path when user click on that share your recipe button so we go to the our home.jsx here we have that button share your recipe so first we will for the navigate we will use the home, use navigate here here this is the button now we will add the on click event and we will simply navigate to this add food recipe so we'll add the path add recipe we will redirect to this this path if i go here click on that here you can see we redirect to this add recipe and component we render is add food recipe now next what i will do i will copy this form I have the form template so I will copy this and I will explain everything so don't worry here this is the form first is the title if I show you here this is the title ingredients instructions time this all uh, these are the fields we need needed so first we have the title then we have the time then we have the ingredients then we have the instructions and then we have the title file sorry we will see the cover image later now we go to the here recipe here you can see this field this name should be match here i have given the name so this name field should be match so let's create a method on handle change when user enter any title time so this method will call on on change event so we will call add the on change event and call this on handle change method same i will copy this and paste it everywhere instruction also and for this recipe image we will see this recipe image later so i will just skip it for now so on handle change first uh, i will declare one variable and store the value e dot target dot value then to store that updated value we will create one hook recipe data equal to use state initially this will be empty object now we will update the set recipe data we will get all the previous value and then update with the new value we will say e dot target dot name equal to e dot target dot value we have the value so if you see this ingredients this is the array this is the array type so if i show you in the module uh, backend let's go to the backend i will show you that in our recipe schema here you can see this ingredients right now this is the string but i want this in a array type so i will make the type array if it, it will accept the array so what we will do here this ingredients if we here we add one condition we check if 
e dot target dot name equal to equal to ingredients we will send e dot target dot value dot split we will split this string by comma so it will return the array we will split it by comma so it will return the array and then we will store it in the e dot target dot name so now we will see on submit button so when user click on the submit we will handle this submit so let's create the function for that on handle submit let me make it async method and we will call the e dot prevent default await excuse dot post to add recipe we have that this local host 5000 slash recipe here you can see now I'm paste it here this URL and we will send our data in recipe data we have I will console log that recipe data for you dot then it will return the response so I will navigate after add the recipe we will navigate to the home page so I am adding the use navigate to and we will navigate to the home page once the recipe is added we will navigate to the home page so here we are done so let's go let me delete this food recipe now currently we don't have anything let me refresh here now i will log in enter the email and password create a new account i want to create a new account click on the sign up now we successfully log in if I show you here in the user we have the one user is created now next we will add the new recipe so let me copy this title time 40 minutes then I will copy this ingredients from here and this ingredients are comma separated so we will split this and get the array now i'm copying this instruction from here and paste it here and click on add recipe we redirect to the home page now if i show you the in console here we get the object on line number 14 here in line number 14 here we console log our recipe data if you see here we get the ingredient as array then instruction time and title if i show you in database here let me refresh inside the recipe here we have added the matter paneer one item and ingredient store as array so let me close then next we will see how we can upload the image for that i am using one library mulder so let me install that npm i mulder we go to our backend first and we will install it npm i mulder let's go to the documentation they have given the nice documentation you can go through this i will copy this require statement and go to our recipe controller and first i will copy this so first we will require the mulder then next i want to store the image in a disk storage so i am copying this then i will paste it here so this is the disk storage 
it will take the two things first is the destination so i am creating the folder public inside the backend folder we will create a public folder now inside the public folder i will create a images folder where we will keep all our images here we will give that path public slash images now second one is a file name so we need to provide the file name i will remove this and we'll say a new date plus file and then we will append the file dot file name and i will pass that file name here now then this is our storage and we will pass that storage in molder and store it in variable upload so let me export this upload variable now we go to our routes recipe and here we will require that upload if you go here and scroll down here we need this upload dot single we need to include this in our add recipe path because we are adding the image here so this name should be match with our file here we have given the name file so let me give the name file here we will say file now let's go to the add food recipe here you can see input type file we will add the on change event here i will copy and paste it here and we will go to this on handle change here we need to do some changes i will add a one more condition here which check if that name a dot target dot name is a file i will add condition here we check if that if it is a file then we will say a dot target dot files at index 0 first we check if it is ingredients then we split the value by comma if it is file let me change it into the file we will access the value from e dot target dot files otherwise we will say e dot target dot value for more details i will console log that e dot target dot files value so we will get an idea what exactly we get inside that files now we are done so let's go to the browser here let me open the console click on share your recipe and i am adding one random image here here you can see we are getting this data file name size type this is actually we get from that files at index 0 this is the data we get and we will store it in the file now we will pass that recipe data to this post method and also we need to pass headers here we need to change the content type now we are handling the file data so we need to change the content type to the multi part form data if i show you in the documentation here you have mention that multi part form data so we need to change our content type so i will say i will paste it here multi part form data will go back to our browser let me add the title name ingredients i'm copying this and paste it here and choose one file click on add recipe here we are getting one error so let's check go to our vs code it's saying this instruction path is required but we have given the instructions mm, so let me restart the server once it, i think it will resolve the issue uh, before that i will show you that in controller if you go add recipe here i have console log this request dot file and then again i will click on add recipe yeah this time it's work properly and we get the request dot file here you can see under this public images folder we get the file that we have saved file name then we have the path original name is daltadka dot png that image we have uploaded
If I show you in recipe schema, here we have the cover image which type is string. Let's go to our add recipe and save the cover image. So here I am adding the cover image. We will get the cover image from request.file.file name. Here you can see this is the file name we get from the file and we will save this cover image. Now let's go to the browser and add the new recipe. Here in database we have the one recipe. So let's add the new recipe. I will quickly fill all this field, give the title, paneer, then in some ingredients, time, instruction and choose the file paneer and click on add recipe. Now let's go to our database. Let me refresh first. Now in last recipe item, here we have the cover image. We save successfully in database. Here you can see. Now next we will update that image. So first I will go to the backend server.js and we will make that our public folder static use the middleware express.static and we will make the our public folder static so we can access it now we go to our recipe item so let's go to the front end components recipe item here in images we will dynamically fetch the image http colon localhost 5000 slash images we have this folder inside our public and here we don't give the public because our public folder is now static and then we will say item dot cover image now let's go to the browser but still we can't see the image here so something is wrong so let's go to the vs code here i have made the spelling mistake cover image now we can see the image and here if i show you cover image we successfully store in our database now i will log out and i will redirect to this my recipe page here you can see this email and password pop-up will open if user is not login then not able to redirect to this my recipe page now i click on this share your recipe and i am redirect to this add recipe page but what i want if user is not login, user won't be able to add any recipe. So we will do this in our next video. Next video we will see how user can verify the token. If user is a valid user, user is login, then only we will able to redirect to this page. So in this video we have seen how user can add the recipe, then how user can upload the images. If you like this video and learn something new, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Imaginary Engineering. Thank you for watching.